super excited to talk to you about your new show. It's called The Astronauts. Um, we watched the trailer and you guys mistakenly launch into space and it looks like it's super, super fun. So maybe can you tell us a little bit about the show since we haven't seen it yet? So the show is, the premise of the show is five kids get launched up into space. So we have this bright idea that it would be fantastic to, to, to sneak on. And then we get the door slams and we're like, what just happened? And then the countdown starts. So we accidentally get launched up into space. And once we're up there, we really have to figure out, cause we're five kids who don't really know each other. So we have to get close as a team and survive. And there's there's that, that struggle and there's that fight to survive and live to the next day. But also like we get to grow together and grow closer as a group and a team, as a family. Like it's it's really, really diverse. Like that's a good, like we all, we all have our, like us in real life, but also our characters, we're all very different and we all bring something else to the table, so. I play Ellie Combs and I, at the beginning of the story, I kind of convinced them all to get on the ship since our parents work there. I, my dad is Griffin Combs, which is the CEO of Helios. And I, I kind of want to stand out and, and not live in my dad's shadow anymore. And um, I want to show him that he should be proud of me. So. I want to do something to prove my worth, basically. So I, I let them, um, I told them that we should all go and do this, and it's like the perfect timing. And they all follow me up, so it's basically my fault. And then we all get trapped into the ship by an AI, um, an AI interface but that y'all saw in the trailer. Her name's Matilda. I was gonna say, now, what are your characters like? Are you similar to them in any way? Yeah, um, my character's name is Sammy Sawyer-Way. She is this, like very smart, strong, kind of stubborn girl. She's in love with space or anything space. She, she, her mom is an astronaut, so she's kind of like an, an aspiring astronaut. So she's like kind of the commander of the ship. She knows how to pilot it, knows all the different like readings and numbers and equations and stuff. I think that we're similar in the way that we're both in love with space. We can both be very stubborn at times, which can get me in trouble sometimes, but we won't talk about that. Um, we're also very different in ways that she knows how to pilot a spaceship and she is lucky for that. <laughs> I am definitely similar to my character. We both like love fashion, super confident, independent. Uh, sassy. I'm very similar to my character in the sense that we're both really excitable, like happy-go-lucky, uh, kind of geeky. So, not a lot of acting needed, but um, it's it's been really awesome getting to play Will because he's always, always cracking jokes. He's always, like, like he's just, he kind of sees the light and everything. And like, even when we're trapped in a spaceship being launched up, he's still like, oh my God, like this is amazing. So it's it's really refreshing to have that kind of energy uh, as part of the group dynamic. I don't really think I'm necessarily like my character. Okay. I mean, he tr am I? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, you're he's he's very sensitive on the inside, and I, I think I can be pretty sensitive on the inside as well. So that's one similarity. Um, I, I have a hard time getting along with the other with the other people on the ship, but in real life, I great friends with all of them. So. Um, and he's also kind of a jerk, so I, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd want to be compared to him. How about you, Keith? I feel like I'm exactly like my character. That's why I gravitated to him so much. Uh, Martin Taylor is a really, like, at first he's like a really, like, scared kid that really just wants to go home, but I feel like closer to the end of the season, you'll see that he's like braver. And he also grows food and feeds everyone, so. <laughs> now, if you guys in real life, you know, we're going into space with a couple of your friends, where would you want to go and what would you want to do? Like, is there a certain planet you'd want to go on? I would want to go to Venus because I heard it rains diamonds there. Each star. Because like stars are actually asteroids, so. I would probably want to visit, visit like each star in the whole universe. <laughs> that would be fun. We, well, for me, we already know like the, a certain number of 
playing in set art that we all learn about in school. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I'd want to go outside of outside of that. I we all know the certain like in our solar system that those you know the average planets that we all that we all heard about, and a lot of them are uninhabitable, so we probably couldn't go to them anyway. So I'd want to go somewhere outside of our solar system that is an, an, an inhabitable planet that has other life forms. And I know you kind of mentioned earlier that, you know, the kids have to get along and try and figure out how to, you know, launch this spaceship together. Kind of like how, you know, you would get on set for the first time and meet and get along. So what's the dynamic like on set for you guys? That's a really good question. When we all first met each other, we were all like super excited, I think. Me and Keith Williams, who plays Martin, have already known each other for a long time. So we were so excited to get to work with each other. But when we all first met each other, we were all like, okay, which character do you play? And like, how old are you? We all we were just like firing questions at each other. And we were all super excited. I think we were all super excited to get to work, get, get to know each other and just like have a good time. Now, are you guys still filming in Vancouver or are you guys all in your own homes right now? We are all still filming. We're in the middle of just finishing up the season, which is super yeah. exciting because We've all worked super hard and especially with the new COVID-19 measures, we actually took a break for a really long time. And I think we were all just super excited to get back to work. And it's been really great to see like how like much the crew and how much like our team at Nickelodeon production have really been taking care of us and making sure we're safe, comfortable and happy. Mm -hmm. And also getting our jobs done at the same time. Now I know that you guys are probably the first people that I've spoken to that are filming during the pandemic. So how is that for you? Are you guys facing any challenges, anything different from when you first started filming to then when you came back into production? Yes, actually, we all have to, we have to wear a mask until the cameras turn on. And we have like our own designated area. It's called the red zone and only the cast and the makeup crew when the, and one of the, and the, uh, one of the ADs can be in that area. And I feel like it's like really safe for us. And we always like have hand sanitizer, but last time, like we didn't have any of this stuff. It was just like a normal set. So it's like really weird to like look back at then and then now we're wearing masks all the time and stuff. <laughs> it's just like an adjustment to get comfortable. Yeah. We're, it, we're adjusting to it, but it's not hard. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. And we, all, we also feel very grateful to be working during this time. Um, we, we have a lot of people on our set and it's great that we can all come together and do this in a very safe way. And um, we're really, we're really happy and we're really grateful. And is there one thing really that you cannot wait for people to see when they see the show? Is there a certain scene that you're just like, oh my God, everyone has to see this? Uh, one thing that I'm super excited for is the zero gravity. Okay. Obviously we're in space and, and we, we, we have to be weightless. So we had a choreographer, like a choreographer come in and he taught us how to to appear weightless and that was a really cool experience. I think the first episode people are just gonna see it for the first time and, and see how different it is from other Nickelodeon shows. Um, Nickelodeon's partnering, partnering with Imagine Entertainment who has Ron Howard and Brian Grazer and it's it's very much like a movie. It's, it's not as much like a TV show as it is a movie. I'm excited for people to see like how like how different our group is. And for me personally, I'm excited because Sammy is like one of the first Asian American leads. Uh, me personally, I'm like one of the first Asian American leads on Nickelodeon. And I just hope that I can like be a role model for people. Cause that's like a big thing for me personally. I really just want to be like one of those like girls that people can be like, I want to be like Mia Chek when I grow up. And I, Feel like it's so cool that I one get to be like a pioneer in a way and also I get to be an astronaut while doing that so that's really exciting. I'm also excited for people to see the zero gravity stuff and also the group dynamic.